here we are. The start of a new century. A new king. A flying machine in the skies. But more important to us, these courts have finally been declared insanitary. Ha! My father, bless his soul, he could have told the corpy that years ago. This reporter chap looked at me like I'd gone mad. Leave, I said. Neighbours as neighbours. Just because they're slums doesn't mean you can just get up and go. Not when you've shared so much happiness and sorrow over the years. It's not right, is it? The first house we entered was 10 House, Number 2 Court, Fontenoy Street. The family have absolutely nothing, and the cellar door has been lifted off its hinges and laid down upon the floor of the room to act as a bed for the children. The father, having used his clothes to cover them, then settles on a wooden box. Hugh Farry, Daily Post. It's the children that suffer. I watch them every day, swarming out like rats drawn to the light. Their pallor is awful to behold, mere skeletons in rags. Some cluster round the Melly Fountain, fighting for the right to quench their thirst. Herbert Lee Jones, The League of Welldoers. Paddy and me settled in Scotland Road, being as it's Catholic and all. But you know, you wander around and it's a real melting pot. There's a regular Chinatown down Pitt Street. There's black folk in Brick Street. Even Filipinos in Frederick Street. But somehow, we all rub along together. Ah, there's no point not to. Are you still cleaning those windows, Polly? You've been at it all morning. Father Ryan from St Vincent's is round here later. So I want to make sure it looks nice. Well, it's my turn to put a pot of tea on today, so come round when he's gone. My Tommy used to chirp, eat for himself and God for us all. But when our Rose and Dad changed his tune, the whole court turned out to pay their respects, joined in a subscription too, as we had nothing to pay for burial. <coughs> the Saturday and Sunday which I spent in that court I always shudder at. I'm very sorry to think that. Although we're told the world is getting wiser, the Liverpool courts are getting no better. New laws empower the corporation to clear these dwellings, but their obsession with statistics saps their resolve. Hugh Shimin, Porcupine Newspaper. Things are finally starting to change. I never thought I'd see that wretched Hornby Street demolished, but I don't see it changing for me. Not in my lifetime. These 450 new homes, it's still just a trickle. It won't help the likes of us. Come back in 50 years and maybe by then we'll have piped water and fresh air. <laughs>